This video is going to be on nucleated red blood cells. So I have pictured here the maturation sequence of rubroblasts to mature red blood cells. And the nucleated red blood cells are all of the cells that have nuclei. So rubroblasts, prorubrocyte, rubrocyte, and metarubrocyte. Now these cells are of course found in the bone marrow, but very low numbers of the last stage, the metarubrocyte, is released into blood. So you might see zero to one nucleated red blood cells per 100 white blood cells, and they should be metarubrocytes. So you don't have to know all of the stages of the red cell precursors or the nucleated red blood cells, but I do want you to know the term metarubrocyte. So if there are increased numbers of nucleated red blood cells in blood, that is called metarubrocytosis. Metarubrocytosis doesn't necessarily mean that all of the nucleated red blood cells are metarubrocytes. They can be earlier stages. We just lump that into the category of metarubrocytosis for any nucleated red. Now there's two types of metarubrocytosis. There is appropriate metarubrocytosis and inappropriate metarubrocytosis. I'll first talk about appropriate metarubrocytosis. Appropriate metarubrocytosis is when there is also an increased number or concentration of reticulocytes in blood. So there's a reticulocytosis concurrently. And in this case, the metarubrocytosis would be due to regeneration, so erythroid hyperplasia in the bone marrow. So this is an appropriate response, and the metarubrocytes um, aren't indicative of another pathologic process. Inappropriate metarubrocytosis in, is when there's either normal or decreased numbers of reticulocytes. So that means that the metarubrocytosis is not due to erythroid hyperplasia, uh, and we have to find another reason for the inappropriate metarubrocytosis. So in general, there are two organ systems um, that can be injured or diseased with an inappropriate metarubrocytosis. The first of which is the bone marrow. So the bone marrow is prematurely releasing nucleated red blood cells before it should. Or the disease is in the spleen. The spleen is responsible for removing the nuclei from the metarubrocytes of the few metarubrocytes that get into circulation. So if the spleen is diseased, then it can't remove those nuclei from the metarubrocytes that normally make it out. So first, sticking on bone marrow, you can have an inappropriate metarubrocytosis with uh, bone fractures or with certain dysplasias such as lead poisoning and some neoplasias, especially erythroid leukemia, so neoplasias of the red cell line. With the spleen, splenic diseases include splenectomy, so you took out the animal's spleen previously for some reason, or there could be neoplasia that's taking over the spleen, and the most common one that causes that is hemangiosarcoma, or HSA, and this is a neoplastic proliferation of the endothelial cells. So that's it. Metarubrocytosis is an increased number of nucleated reds in circulation beyond one NRBC per 100 white blood cells, and it's classified as appropriate or inappropriate based on the degree, presence, or absence of regeneration.